Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As always, if you enjoy these news updates, be sure to stay tuned for the next video as I always cover these updates as soon as they come out so you can be first to know. Today, DICE has released the official patch notes for update 1.2, which will be available on all platforms tomorrow. So let's get right into it. We will get the reworked Kaleidoscope map, which has been changed to better the gameplay flow. This includes new cover assets, flag positions, terrain elevations, and visual updates to several locations on the map. With these map reworks, you can find more details on this video as it goes into detail on the plans DICE has to better the game overall. The video features many little details that I cannot cover in these, you know, short, straight to the point updates. So check it out if you are interested in what the exact changes are. Next, DICE is introducing the first style and tone change for the specialist, which includes several updated character models. You know, the ones with more dirt on them, so they don't look so fresh, I guess. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. The next change to note is the nerf to the stealth helicopters. The power of the RAW 68 Huron and the YG-99 Hannibal 30mm cannons has been reduced by making it overheat at a much faster rate. This will help to limit their impact on infantry and bring it more in line with our balance. One of the most exciting things about update 1.2 is that we are finally getting a stats page. After checking out your KD for the first time, you might stop auto redeploying at the beginning of every single game. <laughs> yes, those count as deaths. The new stats page will provide an overview of your individual performance and progression since the launch of the game. A legacy feature, which we should have had in November, but hey, it's here now, can't really say we don't deserve it because we definitely do. Aim assist on controllers has been adjusted to ensure it feels smoother and more consistent while tracking moving targets. Further into the patch notes, it states that they have fixed an issue with aim assist that prevented auto tracking from working as intended for moving targets. So will aim assist be completely fixed? No, I don't really think so. It has simply been tweaked, so it will be better. But I'm sure there are more than just tracking issues with aim assist, especially on a console. But hey, maybe you will be fixed enough to not really be noticeable, and in that case, yeah, it's fixed. Now we have a nerf to the BSVM. The full auto is now less accurate, and the damage has been reduced with the high powered rounds at distance. Yes, it needed to be nerfed, and you cannot have a DMR that fires automatically and not expect the bullets to feel like a pea shooter, kind of like the V-Car. So, I hope you got it tier 1 by now. My thing is, I think this should have been nerfed a very long time ago, it has been the meta for just way too long. Here is a preview of the new stats page we get in the menu. As you can see, it actually looks pretty nice, a much better user interface than I expected, so thank you DICE, I actually like it quite a lot. I don't have to go online anymore to check my stats, which is a very very good thing. Here are some minor details worth mentioning before you head out. The incorrect status on Sundance's smart grenades has been fixed, so it will actually display the correct grenade you have selected. The repair tool received a buff. The cooldown now starts immediately, without a delay for cooldown. The parachute delay has been fixed so that when you deploy it last second, you actually don't shatter your legs and crunch your spine with those quick drop-ins. They have also made many, many improvements around sliding, vaulting, jumping, and ladders. Supposedly, all movements should be triggered correctly on input and no longer malfunction or cancel each other out. Let me know what you guys think of this update in the comments, I always love to hear from you guys. I will release an in-depth video of the minor buffs and nerfs that were made to a few specialists in the next video, along with super specific changes made to many weapons and vehicles. Thought they weren't too major to mention in this video, and I will put the link to the patch notes in the description along with the depth plan DICE has to remake 2042. Hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, have a good one, leave a like or dislike before you head out, and I will see you on the next one.